Kim Mitchell talks about his radio career at Q107 in Toronto. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. You know, Kim Mitchell was an announcer at Q107 in Toronto for like 11 years. We should point out his new album, The Big Fantasize, is coming out in November. We talk about that and a lot more in this clip. How did you? How did it happen for you, though? Because you've always had the oh. pipes for it, obviously. Well, I don't. I don't think I do. But no one does. Uh, no they, one they thinks just, they do. Okay. All right. Yeah. They. They were just. They were a classic rock station in Toronto, and they were thinking outside the box. And they. They thought, why not try somebody like Kim Mitchell? Like we play his stuff, and and uh, we pitched them. I wanted to do something on a Sunday, so I had a meeting with them, and they're like, "What a great idea!" And, and then I didn't hear from them for quite a long time. And I thought I was going to do a Sunday night thing when cottagers are coming home, all these people I play to at, at resorts and stuff. And those festivals, the corn fest and the fall fest. And, um, and then they, they called and they go, our afternoon drive guy quit. Do you want it a full-time job? And I'm like, that's a pretty big shift. Like that's the second biggest shift in a major. And I have no training. So, but I thought, okay, sure. And man, I sucked for the first year. It was terrible. Like four months in, um, I went into my boss. I remember going, I, I can't handle the hate email. Like, it's just, I'm, I'm awful. I, I don't have any confidence. I, you know, like, I'll just get out of this. I'll bow out. And he's like, no, man, you got, you have something. Like, let's keep working. Like, just, just work. It, it's going to, you know. This is a new thing for you. You're anybody, everybody sucks when they start at something they've never done before. So let's, let's give it a year. If in a year you still feel like this and it just, it started to turn around. That was a confidence I needed. And, and then it turned into something was, was all right. It, it did really well in Toronto. Who's the PD? Uh, well, there's a few, uh, it was uh, Blair Bartram. Yeah. Um, he was my boss and uh, Dave Farrell was my boss who was a, a West coast guy for quite some time. Um, so yeah, they, they were, he was a good boss. He was just great work, worked with me. And you know, when I, when I started doing five years ago, we started doing this channel, the big channel. I've got a few of them now. Um, I was like a deer in front of a Peterbilt truck. I mean, I've been an announcer at that point for like 32 years and I was kind of like, I did, I, I just, you, it's almost like you got to get into another skin. You, then you go, Oh, I can do this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you do. It's like that being a musician and performing too. You have to walk with a bit of, you have to walk this, a bit of strut happening to, yeah. to do what we do. I think in entertainment, period, whether it's it's dance, um, broadcasting, I, I think there's a certain, you, you can't be, eh, yeah. it has to be, here I go, man, um, I'm going to be great. I used to like I, that's not that's 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 not my personality. I'm a self-deprecating guy and, and, and walk around where I think... You know, Tracy Johnson was a radio, is a radio guru, and the first thing he said to his program directors, I got, I got to sit in as an announcer on one of these sessions with PDs, and he said, the first thing you have to remember is all talent is insecure. They're all insecure, so watch your meetings with these people. You're dealing with someone who you can say the wrong thing to, and you're going to crush them for a month. You know, they'll, they'll just be, ah! Artists are like that. Performers are like that. So, anyway. And radio announcers can be like that because we're like in, in my, that's the below the kitchen, you know, where it sticks out in most houses over there. Okay, yeah. And uh, yes, I've got real to reels, three of them. Um, and I, uh, uh, we're in a room of four by like a six by six room by ourselves. I, I used to tell that to people. I'm going, you think I'm an outdoorsy kind of guy? When I get in front of the audience to intro to introduce Kim Mitchell or somebody, everyone in that audience goes, okay, we're here for Kim. You know, th we know that. Yeah. But yeah, it is but what it is. We'll have more from Kim Mitchell coming up next week and other clips to Kim Mitchell on our sister channel, Rocky Stream Music. There'll be links in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Canada.